is on page F16. Come to my assistance, Lord, and make me haste to your body. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. I heard the voice of Jesus, Jesus say, Come unto me and rest. Lay down, weary one, lay down, I head upon my breast. I came to Jesus as I was, so be I found him in a resting place, and he has made me glad. I heard the voice of Jesus say, Behold, I freely give the down and drink and live. I came to Jesus and I drank of that life-giving stream. My thirst was quenched, my soul revived, and now I live. on the lowly 
and a haughty he knows from afar. Though I walk in the midst of affliction, you give me life and frustrate my foes. You stretch out your hand and save me. Your hand will do all things for me. Your love, O Lord, is eternal. Discard not the work of your hands. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. God is greater than our hearts and knows everything. O Lord, you search me and you know me. You know my resting and my rising. You discern my purpose from afar. You mark when I walk or lie down. All my ways lie open to you. Before ever a word is on my tongue, you know it, O Lord, through and through. Behind and before you besiege me, your hand ever laid upon me. Do wonderful for me this knowledge, do high beyond my reach. Oh, where can I go from your Spirit? Or where can I flee from your fears? If I climb the heavens, you are there. If I lie in the grave, you are there. If I take the wings of the dawn and dwell at the sea's furthest end, even there your hand would lead me. Your right hand would hold me fast. <clears throat> if I say, let the darkness hide me, and the light around me be night. Even darkness is not dark for you, and the night is as clear as the day. For it was you who created my being, Knit me together in my mother's womb. I thank you for the wonder of my being, for the wonders of all your creation. Already you knew my soul. My body held no secret from you. When I was being fashioned in secret, and molded in the depths of the earth. Your eyes saw all my actions. They were all of them written in your book. Every one of my days was decreed before one of them came into being. To me, how mysterious your thoughts, the sum of them not to be numbered. If I count them, they are more than the sand. To finish, I must be eternal like you. O oh God, that you would slay the wicked. Men of blood, keep far away from me. With deceit, they rebel against you and set your designs at naught. Do I not hate those who hate you? Abhor those who rise against you? I hate them with a perfect hate, and they are foes to me. Who oh, search me, God, and know my heart. O oh, test me and know my thoughts. See that I follow not the wrong path, and lead me in the path of life is Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, 
Christ, who was and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. God is greater than our hearts and knows everything. There is one judge, he who is able to say, We give thanks to you, O God. We give thanks and call upon your name. We recount your wonderful deeds. When I reach the appointed time, then I will judge with justice. Though the earth and all who dwell in it may rock, it is I who uphold its pillars. To the boastful I say, do not boast. To the wicked, do not flaunt your strength. Do not flaunt your strength on high. Do not speak with insolent pride. For oh, neither from the east nor from the west, nor from desert or mountains comes judgment. But God himself is the judge. One he humbles, another he exalts. The Lord holds a cup in his hand, full of wine, foaming and spice. He pours it, they drink it to the dregs. All the wicked on the earth must drain it. As for me, I will rejoice forever and sing psalms to Jacob's God. He shall break the power of the wicked while the strength of the just shall be exalted. Glory, Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. There is one judge, he who is able to save. We give thanks to you, Lord God Almighty. We praise you, the Lord God Almighty, who is and who was. You have assumed your great power. You have begun your reign. The nations are rage in anger. But then came your day of wrath and a moment to judge the dead. The time to reward your servants, the brothers, and the holy ones who revere you the great and the small alike. Now have salvation and power come, the reign of our God and the authority of his anointed one. For the accuser of our brothers is cast out, who night and day accuse them before God. They defeated him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Love for life did not deter them from death. So rejoice, you heavens, and do that dwell therein. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. We give thanks to you, Lord our
the letter of St. James. Submit to God, resist the devil, and he will take flight. Draw close to God, and he will draw close to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners. Purify your hearts, you backsliders. Begin to lament, to mourn, and to weep. Let your laughter be turned into mourning, and your joy into sorrow. Be humbled in the sight of the Lord, and he will raise you on high. Whoever gives up his life for my sake in this world will find it again forever in the next, says the Lord. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked in favor of his lowly servant. From this day all generations will all be blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones, and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our Father to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Whoever gives up his life for my sake in this world will find it again forever in the next, says the Lord. In his mercy, God sent the Holy Spirit to shine on us so that our lives may radiate holiness and faith. Let us raise our voices in prayer and say, Lord, source of all holiness, draw bishops, priests, and deacons closer to Christ through the Eucharistic mystery. May they grow daily in the grace of their ordination. Teach Christ's faithful people to be devout and attentive at the table of his word and of his body, so that they may bring into their daily lives the grace they receive through faith and sacrament. Grant, Lord, that we may see in each person the dignity of one redeemed by your Son's blood, so that we may respect the freedom and the conscience of all. Teach us to restrain our greed for earthly goods, 
and to have concern for the needs of others. For the Campus Purchase Project, and for all of our benefactors, Father Sam, for all the parishioners here at All Souls, for Sharon Mason, for all of her intentions. Asking God to help us to find housing for Stuart and Mo and our other employees. Be merciful to your faithful people whom you have called to yourself today. Grant them the gift of eternal happiness. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Prompt our actions with your inspiration, we pray, O Lord and further them with your constant help, that all we do may always begin with you and be by you brought to completion. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Spirit. Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. May the divine assistance be always with us. And also with our brothers and sisters. Martyrology of March the 3rd, United States of America, the year of grace, 1955, the heavenly birth of St. Catherine Drexel, a Philadelphian heiress and foundress of the Sisters of the Blessed Sacrament for Indians and Blacks. She established some 49 foundations including Xavier University at New Orleans. She was canonized by Pope John Paul II in the year 2000. Around 5.30, St. Wynne Wallow, the son of a Celtic lord from the British Isles, he became, around the age of 21, the superior of 11 monks who had settled at and do it hack. This monastery was destined to become a radiant center of prayer and culture in Brittany. Around 1033, Saint Conagunda, with the consent of her husband, Emperor St. Henry II. She preserved the, her virginity, which she had vowed to God before her marriage, on the occasion of her coronation at Paderborn. She bestowed great benefits on diverse churches. The death of the emperor, she retired to the monastery, which she had founded at Bramberg, Germany. Here, she did her best to forget her former dignity. Elsewhere, the heavenly birth of numerous other saints whose names are inscribed in the Book of Life.